In this business, someone is always given credit for giving them that big break in show business. And our next guest on the special Statler Brother Night uh, really fits the bill. It was March 1964 that uh, the Statlers first went to work with our next guest. Yes, this person is a superstar in the business, and I think it's so interesting now that the Statlers are too. So the Statlers and their hero are going to perform for you right now. Come on, boys. Well, I remember when I was a lad Times were hard and things were bad But there's a silver lining behind every cloud just poor people, that's all we were Trying to make a living out of black land dirt We get together in a family circle Sing out loud Daddy sang bass Mama sang tenor Hey, little brother, we join right in there Cause we sing, we sing, we have a trouble song One of these days, it won't be long I'll rejoin them in a song I want to join the family circle at the throne Oh no, the circle won't be broken By and by, Lord, by and by Dad, you'll sing bass Mama sang tenor Me and little brother will join right in there In the sky, Lord, in the sky All right! I remember after work My mama would call in all of us and you could hear us singing for a country mile. Now, little brother's done gone on. I'll rejoin him in a song. We'll be together again up yonder in a little while. Dad, you'll sing bass. Mama sang dinner. And me and little brother will join right in there. I'll sing and sing to them a troubled song. One of these days it won't be long. I'll rejoin them in a song. I want to join the family circle at the throne. All right, let's do it. All oh, the circle won't be broken. Bye, bye, Lord, bye, bye. Dad, you sing bass. Mama sang tenor. I made a little brother would join right in the In the sky, Lord, in the sky. In the sky. Right here, sir. Make yourself at home. Come on in, guys. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You do it. All over the place. Oh, right. Okay, we want, oh, yeah. we want the true story back in 1964. <laughs> why did you choose the Statler brothers to back you up for the first time? Yeah, well, <laughs> well <clears throat> we were cheap. They were cheap? <laughs> yes. Well, they were the only thing I could find at the time. <laughs> uh, the Statler brothers. We worked at a place called Watermelon, Watermelon Park, Virginia. I'm nervous tonight. Very I'm so I'm so excited about doing this. I just I love these guys and it's so good to be with them. Hey, we're all on a rush tonight. This is a big night for everybody. Yeah, we're yeah. Yeah. We're 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 Standing ovation from our audience and everything. It's wonderful, you know. Yeah. Well, we were booked at a place called Watermelon Park, Virginia, and uh, these guys were on the show, the Statler Brothers. Mm -hmm. First time I ever saw them. I watched them on stage, and I loved what they did. The thing, the first thing that I remember them doing that I really loved was uh, Wreck of Old 97. They did a quartet right. version of Wreck of Old 97, and they did some gospel songs and a song they wrote called Billy Christian. I believe you wrote that. No, Tom T. Hall did, Tom but T. thank uh, you. <laughs> <laughs> He'll take let, the check. Let, let, me yeah. say, let me say something right here. John Diddy, we, he put us on his show sight unseen in uh, Watermelon Park on this Sunday afternoon, and here's what the man did. This is the God's truth, if I ever told it. 
he came out on set on the edge of the stage where the, and there was people everywhere, five, 6,000 people there wading in the Shenandoah River. He came out and sat on the edge of the stage where people could see him and watched our show. He didn't have any idea who we were, and I thought that was the greatest tribute to the man. I didn't hurt him. Yep. That's right. Well, <clears throat> I just, uh, I knew that uh, at that moment I was seeing something great, mm -hmm. you know? I love, always loved quartets, and here was the best one I'd ever heard. Now, how long did these guys work for you, and what's the worst trouble they got you into? <laughs> I don't know that they got me into any trouble. I got them into a lot. No. Uh, That's not true. We were there eight and a half years, yeah. and I'm telling you what, it was the greatest, it's, it's the greatest eight and a half years of our life. I mean, it, it was our college yeah. education and the music business. Right. You know, they exactly could adapt. Let me tell you, they could adapt. They, uh, we took them to England not, not long after we started working together. And uh, they, don't, they didn't like to go overseas, but they always went. They never complained about it. But every one of them had a quart jar of peanut butter in their suitcase <laughs> so, they could, so they could have some food from home, you know. If you got peanut butter, they can't starve you out. I'll that's, you right. Right. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Very filling. Well, Don, right. you got some bread. Well, well, Don, working with a man like Johnny Cash all of those years, what did you learn from him as an entertainer? Oh. And maybe even as a person. Every night, we'd go out, we'd open the show, and then we'd go back, and John would do his part, and he'd have us come over to the end to, to close with him and the Carters. And, uh, and speaking the of Carters, three. June's here. June's here. June's here. June's here. Come here. Come here, Jim. I'm going to get you right there. Right there. Right there. Come on, sit down. You didn't know what was going to be said. Stand right there. I had no idea. I just heard. Have a seat right here. I heard somebody singing my part. Yeah. Okay. You know what's your part? You never did find that part. But you know I was looking for it. You were looking for it. I know you were. Your intentions were good. All those years we worked together, they they let me sing. They let me just have what was left. They they all got a part, and they would allow me to sing along, and I. We, I loved all those today, years. Today, with all the high tech and everything now, we started out, John would have a mic, and with the four of us and June would all be on one mic. Remember yeah, that? Yeah, we were all and on we one mic. We crowded in there, we just blew each other's ears off trying to get in that one mic. <laughs> we did. I mean, we, we just hogged our way right in. But I, I tell you, I'm, I, I, I just had to say how, how proud I've been of all of you, all of you. And, I, and, and I've, I've missed you. I've missed you more than you'll ever know. And we've missed you all. Yeah. But you've done good. We're really proud that the number one cable television show in the world. That's on right. On National Network. The Stanley Brothers Show. That's right. Yeah. 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 All of uh, here, say one more thing. Sure, please. <laughs> they just did all the concerts they just did were sold out, and the next eight that are booked are sold out every seat. And uh, I'm so proud that uh, they're still doing so great. You told mm -hmm. us. JR. And, uh, I, let me say, just let me say something. I was talking about a while ago, what did you learn, Miss Man? Mm -hmm. I remember one night Don and I were sitting in the dressing room. We were writing a song. I don't even remember what song it was. And John stuck his head in the door and said, What are y'all doing? He said, We're writing a song. And uh, he said, Well, have you got it finished? We said, Well, no. And we were hung up on one line. I don't remember what the line. And we told him what my idea was. And Don said, Well, I've got to do this. And, and he stood there for a second and he said, Well, just remember, the best way to say anything is just to say it. Mm. Yeah. Some and of the greatest songwriting uh, advice, advice we've ever received. And he, he takes his own advice because he's the greatest when it comes wow. to saying yeah. what he wants to say. There you go. And I tell you, over the years, I know, I know these guys have taken it to heart. And I'm, and I'm sure Mr. Fortune back here, who entered the group, I mean, like at yeah. 100 miles an hour, writing some <laughs> great songs, you, you've taken into account some of the writing style of Johnny Cash and some of the other greats in country music. That's how you developed your style. He's one of the best, as far as I'm concerned. Thank and this you, is, a, by the way, the first time I've ever met the man tonight. <laughs> no kidding. It's the first time. No kidding. And it's a pleasure. <coughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we've, uh, uh, June and I have been watching Jimmy all these years, and uh, we decided he's okay. You like him better? <laughs> yeah. 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 You like him better than you do, Harold? Uh, no. Well, you know, the thing I like, Harold, he's unpredictable. Like, I don't know if anybody noticed tonight, Harold's got on an orange, got an orange handkerchief. Yeah. yeah. 
Oh, they noticed. What does that stand for? I Harold? thought that was his nose and it just dropped slightly. <laughs> 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 you don't well, think that's pretty? You don't think that's pretty? I, I, I didn't say nothing about your hat. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know I was going to be on. Come on, you're trying to be nice. <laughs> Wait a minute. As we go to break, I'm going to try to... Listen, Johnny. as we go to break, I'm going to try to patch things up and offer some Statler Brothers tissue. Oh, <laughs> 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 with our heartfelt thanks for being with us.